Hi everybody and welcome to Morning Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good this morning. Uh, I'm still feeling just, you know, really um, like I didn't get sleep or something. I feel tired and uh, just sore and stuff. But I, I mean, it could be worse. So I'm hanging in there. Should maybe after tomorrow, probably day after tomorrow, I'm probably be starting to feel better. Okay, uh, on our prayer request, Vonnie Jeffers' procedure went well. And uh, Christina from Christina in Michigan needs prayer that she's able to get more settled and be able to film again. Tweet's grandson is doing better but still needs prayers. <clears throat> Vonnie Jeffers' niece, Sarah, tested positive for COVID. Pray she'll be okay. Colleen Crowell needs foot surgery and her insurance won't pay for it. Pray she'll be able to get it done. Wendy Melendez asked us to pray for this epidemic. We'll take no more lives and everyone will get well and be healed. Lisa Garcia's father passed away. Pray for her and the family. And Jen's brother has arthritis in his right knee and it's very painful. And it is very painful. I, I haven't gotten any results back. Maybe it wasn't so bad from my x-rays that I got the, uh, last week. Um, haven't heard anything yet, so... That might be good. I mean, maybe I don't have it bad if I've got it. See, even if I don't have it, it's Crohn's disease will cause your joints to hurt and stuff. And arthritis is, just goes along with it. Okay, on our uh, scripture today comes from 1 Samuel 30, 1 through 6, and then 18 and 19. David and his men reached Ziglag on the thirty on the third day. Now the Amalekites and had raided the Negev and Ziklag, and they attacked Ziklag and burned it, and had taken captive the women and everyone else in it, both young and old. They killed none of them, but carried them off as they went on their way. When David and his men reached Ziklag, they found it destroyed by fire and their wives and sons and daughters taken captive. So David and his men wept aloud until they had no strength left to weep. David's two wives had been captured, Ahinoam and Jezreel, and Abigail, the widow of Nabal of Carmel. David was greatly distressed because the men were talking of stoning him. Each one was bitter in spirit because of his sons and daughters. But David found strength in the Lord his God. David recovered everything the Amalekites had taken, including his two wives. Nothing was missing, young or old, boy or girl, plunder or anything else they had taken. David brought everything back. Okay. And our devotion today is entitled, Recovering What's Lost. At the phone store, the young pastor steeled himself for bad news. His smartphone accidentally dropped during our Bible class. Was a total loss, right? Actually, no. The store clerk recovered all the pastor's data, including his Bible videos and photos. She also recovered every photo I'd ever deleted, he said. The store also replaced my broken phone with a brand new phone. As he said, I recovered all I had lost and more. David once led his own recovery mission after an attack by the vicious Amalekites. Spurned by Philistine rulers, David and his army discovered the Amalekites had raided and burned down their town of Ziklag, taking captive the woman and everyone else in it, including all their wives and children. So David and his men wept aloud until they had no strength left to weep. The soldiers were so bitter with their leader David that they talked of stoning him. But later, David found strength in the Lord his God. As God promised, David pursued the Amalekites and recovered everything the Amalekites had taken. Nothing was missing, young or old, boy or girl, plunder or anything else they had taken. David brought everything back as we face spiritual attacks that rob us even of hope. May we find renewed strength in God. He will be with us in every challenge of life. What spiritual attacks 
or life loss are you experiencing? Turning from your despair to God, how will you find renewed strength in Him? God, help me to find hope in you, even as I face life's challenges. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anybody out there that's been affected by the virus. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this morning's devotions. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. And share with everyone, please. All right, everybody. Um, it snowed a bunch here overnight. Yep, it sure did. Looks like about, from what I can see on top of the feeders, looks like about five or six inches. So I wasn't expecting all that. Um, when The last time I looked out yesterday evening, I uh, went out when I took the garbage out, and that was about 8.30 or something like that, 9 o'clock. It was a little, it was still kind of rainy, a little rainy, but not, not very much. But I sure didn't expect to wake up to this. Um, I'd like to have caught all that snow coming down in the film, but I didn't. I know there was a chance of snow, but I didn't know it was going to wake up and be like this this morning. So it's on the street and everything. I mean, good thing we don't really have anywhere to go today because we're not. <laughs> we're just going to hang out here. Uh, I need to rest some anyway. Um, so, everybody, I appreciate you watching so much, and I will be seeing you a little later on on morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.